writing your vision is such a feminine practice. It's such a feminine experience and it's not something that can be forced. It's not something you can make happen. You can't put a timeline on it. Um, that would be completely like against the point of the practice. The idea is to feel into it and to receive sort of an intuition and a and kind of connect in with your, your truth, your spiritual self and hear the whispers of your heart and feel your desires and communicate from that place. And, you know, we want it to be a living vision. You know, we want it, we want your vision to be alive. It's a, like, I want you, I want you, I invite you, I want you, <laughs> I want you to have a vision that feels like a living, breathing, alive creature. I want this experience to be, it's not just words on paper, that would be doing the experience a total disservice and the potential power of your vision, it would be doing a total disservice. Like your vision, it's an alive, breathing thing. It's an, an alive energy. Your desires are real. Your desires are meant for you. As soon as you experience and feel, feel your desire, it's done, right? It's done. It's hard to believe that because our humanness gets in the way, our ego gets in the way, our masculine, our disempowered masculine gets in the way. Um, the truth is your desires are the truth of your soul, the truth of your heart. Sorry, like my boobs are popping out of my onesie. <laughs> it's not a onesie, it's a jumpsuit. Um, and yeah, like you're, uh, where was I? I got distracted by my boobs popping out. <laughs> um, um, yeah, it's a living, breathing thing. That's, that's really what I wanted to say to you. And you, it's, it's really important that you allow it to be a really feminine practice because I want you to receive your vision. Don't do your vision receive it allow it and because it's a living breathing thing you get to keep adding to it you get to allow it to expand you get to allow yourself to receive the inspiration of the vision right receive it allow it to come through you it, it, it it's something that you, you're all like energetically it's something that's being birthed and that's what I mean when you when you have a desire and you acknowledge it you give yourself permission to have it and you, you feel through it and you release it onto, onto paper, perhaps onto video, even stronger to, to word it, by the way, that the power of spoken word is like off the scale, especially when scared, uh, scared shared with a group like this. Um, but you, you're actually giving birth to something. It, it, it is a living, breathing thing. It's precious and and it is so precious. It is kind of like a newborn baby. You've got to take care of this beautiful, precious thing. And when you're birthing your vision, you want to protect it like you would a newborn baby. This is a living, breathing thing. It, it's so special. It's so tender. This is the truth of your heart. Can you feel that? This is the absolute most tender, vulnerable, precious truth of your heart. This is something to be really loved and nurtured and cared for and allow it to become what it's going to become as you do with a child. You allow them to become who they're going to become in the world. Allow your vision to become. Allow it to reveal all facets and characteristics of itself to you. Be curious like, ooh, what's this going to become? Who is this? You know, what is this? That's the energy I want you to bring to your vision. It's not a job. It's not a task. It's so much more powerful than that.